वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.13 सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ सिंगल सिक्स मिलीमीटर डायमीटर स्टील पिन इज यूज टू कनेक्ट द स्टील स्ट्रिप डी ई टू टू एल्यूमिनियम स्ट्रिप ईच ऑफ 20 मिलीमीटर विद एंड 50 मिलीमीटर थिकनेस सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द पिन बी दैट इज दैट इज असम्बलिंग दिस इज द स्टील स्ट्रिप एंड दिस अपर एंड लोअर स्ट्रिप्स आर एल्यूमिनियम स्ट्रिप्स एंड दिस स्ट्रिप असम्बली इज हेल्ड बाई दिस पिन बी the width of each strip is 20 mm and thickness is 5 mm the modulus of elasticity is 200 for the steel and 70 gpa for aluminum knowing that for the pin at b allows the shearing stress 85 mpa determine for the loading the maximum strain energy that can be acquired by the assembled strip so i have written the given data diameter of the pin is this e of steel is this e of aluminum is this while allowable shearing stress is 85 megapascal so you have to determine the maximum strain energy now we will solve this problem you can see that uh, this is the pin clear so due to this pin and there is a load p that is applied at this so there will this load at this pin will uh, will cause the double shear so here this will be the load due this p will be divided by 2 and this will be divided by 2 and the pin will be in double shear so what we have to do we have given the allowable shearing strength stress of this pin so we will find this uh, load p for the double shear or for this load p that can be applied so let let move so area of pin we know that pin is cylindrical so that will area cross sectional area will be pi by 4 d of pin square clear so you can put the value pi by 4 diameter of pin is 6 square clear so area of pin comes out to be 28.27 square millimeter or in term of meter area of pin will be equal to 28.27 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter now we have already discussed that due to this load p clear there will be a double shear at the pin so we from this we will find this load p so double shear and we have given shearing stress so shearing allowable shearing stress is equal to load which is p by 2 over area clear and from here you will get this p is equal to 2 times a into allowable shearing stress so you can put the value 2 multiply by the area of pin is 28.27 into 10 to the power minus 6 multiply by this allowable shearing stress which is 85 mega pascal so 85 into 10 to the power 6 so from here you will get this p is equal to 4.8 into 10 to the power 3 newton now we have this p you can see this p is applied on the cross sectional area of this strips we have three strips one is this one the other one is steel and the lower one is also a uh, uh, aluminum so we have also given the width and thickness of each strips so for strip i will write here for strip ab the 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 middle one is db and the lower one is uh, the middle one is de and the lower one is db so we will find their cross sectional area ab db and be b e we will find their cross sectional area so since width is this area will be equal to width which is 20 mm and thickness is 5 mm so it will be 100 square mm or this area will be in term of meter it will be 
into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter. Now, you can see that uh, the what will be the force in each strip. So, if we take the upper strip, which is AB, so the force in strip AB, force in strip AB, force in strip AB will be equal to P by 2. Clear? And this P by 2 is equal to 4.8 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 2. And that will be equal to 2.40 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. Same is the strip DB, which is the lower, lower one. This strip. I will show you this is the strip this lower strip so it will be equal to the same because the upper will have this one so lower will ha will also have the same so force in db is also equal to force in ab and that is equal to p by 2 is equal to 2.40 into 10 to power 3 newton now we will find the maximum uh, strain energy. So maximum strain energy is equal to strain energy in A, B plus strain energy of D, B plus strain energy of the middle uh, strip which is B, E. Okay. Now what will be the strain energy of AB so AB is equal to FB which is load FAB square into LAB square not square sorry LAB divided by 2 times E of steel uh, sorry yeah, E of aluminum because the upper one is aluminum so E of aluminum multiply by area of AB so you can just put the value FAB is uh, 2.40 into 10 to the power 3 its square length of AB total length of AB is given as 0 0.5 here till pin this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 divided by 2 times modulus of elasticity of aluminum was 70 gigapascal given written in given data and the area which is 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 so UAB will be equal to 0 0.5 3 joules since upper and lower strips of aluminum is experiencing the same force and the same parameters so that uab will be equal to ubd is equal to 0 0.2063 joule now we'll find the total strain energy of rod b uh, strip be so for that we will write u of b e will be equal to f of b e square into length of b e divided by 2 times e of steel into area of b e now you can put the value F of BD, uh, sorry, BE is total since this strip is taking total load of P. So this will be equal to P 4.8 into 10 to the power 3 into total length is 1.25 minus 0 0.5 this length 
total minus this will be equal to remaining this length divide by 2 into e of steel is 200 gigapascal multiply by area is 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you calculate it ube will be equal to 0 0.4332 joule now total energy is equal to uab plus ubd so 0 0.2063 plus 0 0.2063 plus 0 0.4332 so you will get 0 0.846 joule so this is the answer of our question 11.13 i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching